treatment for a meniscal tear depends on the size of the tear, whether it's unstable, whether it's associated with other ligamentous injuries such as an ACL uh, ligament injury, and whether it's causing any locking or jamming of uh, the knees or mechanical symptoms. We normally uh, get an MRI scan of the knee before deciding on what's the best way forward and what's the best treatment. The initial treatment in all stages, in all cases, should involve rest, ice, compression and elevation of the knee. We then get an MRI scan and we assess the type of tear, the size of the tear, the location of the tear, uh, whether it's unstable or not, and whether there are any other associated structures that are injured. And we ask the history about whether there are episodes of locking or the knee giving way. And based on that, we decide on whether this needs intervention. Normally, tears due to wear and tear, which usually occur at the back of the meniscus, usually the medial side, are treated conservatively unless they're unstable or associated with locking episodes. The more complex tears or the unstable tears are associated with the ACL injury. We try, and I, we try to either repair them or we debride them if they're not uh, repairable. And by doing that, we try and preserve as much of the knee function, especially by repairing the meniscus, which is associated with the lower incidence of arthritis or wear and tear in the long term. So it all depends on the type of tear, the location of the tear, whether it's stable or unstable, whether there's associated locking or mechanical symptoms. Mm -hmm.